Never count your faults. Just see that your love for God is deeply sincere. For God doesn't mind your imperfections. God minds your indifference. Be as simple as you can be. You will be astonished to see how uncomplicated and happy your life can become. Most of the world is like a mental hospital. Some persons are sick with jealousy, others with anger, hatred, passion. They are victims of their habits and emotions. But you can make your home a place of peace. By the practice of meditation, you will find that you are carrying within your heart a portable paradise. Do not take life's experiences too seriously, for in reality they are nothing but dream experiences. Play your part in life, but never forget that it is only a role. Untrained warriors are soon killed on the battlefield. So also persons untrained in the art of preserving their inner peace are quickly riddled by the bullets of worry and restlessness in active life. Before embarking on important undertakings, Sit quietly, calm your senses and thoughts, and meditate deeply. You will then be guided by the great creative power of spirit. I relax and cast aside all mental burdens, allowing God to express through this perfect love, peace and wisdom. If circumstances are bad and you have to bear them, do not make them a part of yourself. The season of failure is the best time for sowing the seeds of success. Strengthen your mind 
and refuse to carry the burden of mental and moral weakness acquired in past years. Burn them in the fires of your present divine resolutions and right activities. By this constructive attitude, you will attain freedom. Change your life by changing your thoughts. It doesn't matter if a cave has been in darkness for 10,000 years or half an hour. Once you light a match, it is illuminated. A good rule in life is to tell yourself simply, what comes of itself, let it come. Those who are unconquered in spirit are the real successes in life. If you can so train or condition your mind that you are content regardless of what you have or do not have, and if you can stand the challenge of all your trials and remain calm, that is true happiness. One who conquers the mind conquers the world. Since you alone are responsible for your thoughts, only you can change them. You will want to change them when you realise that each thought creates according to its own nature. Remember that the law works at all times and that you are always demonstrating according to the kind of thoughts you habitually entertain. Therefore, start now to think only those thoughts that will bring you health and happiness. Do your best and then relax. Let things go on in a natural way rather than force them. Through the portals of silence the healing sun of wisdom and peace will shine upon you.
When a person in the process of dreaming becomes conscious that they are dreaming, they are no longer identified with the phenomena. They are not affected exultantly or dolefully. God consciously dreams this cosmic play and is unaffected by its dualities. A yogi who perceives their real self as separate from their active senses and their objects never becomes attached to anything. They are aware of the dream nature of the universe and watch it without becoming entangled in its complex but ephemeral nature. What you are is much greater than anything or anyone else you have ever yearned for. God is manifest in you in a way that is not manifest in any other human being. Your face is unlike anyone else's and your soul is unlike anyone else's. You are sufficient unto yourself. For within your soul lies the greatest treasure of all, God. Be honest with yourself. The world is not honest with you. The world loves hypocrisy. When you are honest with yourself, you find the road to inner peace. One who knows their soul knows this truth. I am beyond everything finite. I now see that the spirit, alone in a space with its ever new joy, has expressed itself as the vast body of nature. I am the stars, I am the waves, I am the life of all, I am the laughter within all hearts. I am the smile on the faces of the flowers and in each soul. I am the wisdom and power that sustain all creation. The greatest romance is with the infinite. 
you have no idea how beautiful life can be. When you suddenly find God everywhere, when God comes and talks to you and guides you, the romance of divine love has begun. Sing songs that none have sung. Think thoughts that never in the brain have rung. Walk in paths that none have trod. Weep tears as none have shed for God. Give peace to all to whom none other gave. Claim that your own that's everywhere disclaimed. Love all with love that none have felt. Embrace the battle of life with strength unchained. 